coming uh, and uh, cool the fire a bit. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so relax. Amen. Amen. First of all, I want to say thank you so much. I'm honored. Amen. Amen. I'm honored. I feel the honor in my spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know what that means when a, when a prophet says I'm honored? You know what that means? The Bible says he who receives a prophet. I don't want the word receive. I want the word honor. Hallelujah. Amen. Honor is not in word alone, but you honor in what? In deed. Yes. If you say, if Bible say honor your father and mother, doesn't mean just, just respect them. To honor a man of God is not just to respect him. That's not honor. To honor a man of God is to do something for the prophet. You understand? That's what it means to honor your, your, your prophet or to honor your mother and father. You don't just say, you don't just call them and say, are you well and laugh with them? You send them things that's honoring. Are you with me? Amen. So I want to appreciate God for you. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'll tell you what God said. When, um, when I entered and I saw, to be quite frank with you, uh, I think this one I missed it. <laughs> I was just focusing on the Passover. Amen. And I was thinking that day, how can people pull pull something for me? Because now we are clashing with the what? With the Passover. So my heart was on the Passover. Amen. 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 And the Lord told me the moment I said that, the Lord says, Do you know what these people have done? They have provoked an anointing that I have been keeping on hold. Now I'm releasing it. Are you ready? Do you think you know this Gangata? You have not seen him. Oh, you have not seen him. You don't know him. You don't know him. You have not seen him. God was putting a certain anointing on hold. Because God was waiting for people to honor that anointing. Now that you have honored it, see what will happen from today going forward. As the pastor is telling you. Are you people hearing me? Are you people hearing me? Amen. There are two things that God told me, the anointing shall not be fully released. Amen. Number one, because God was waiting for people to honor the anointing. Amen. Amen. Number two, God also was giving me time to overcome iniquity. Are you hearing me? Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So if you love this, this great man of God here, you have to pray. Don't just pray for him to have a big ministry. How do you pray for him? You pray and say, iniquity that tries to stop that man, we bind it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Iniquity that is trying to block his glory, we what? We bind it. That's how you pray for this man. I'm giving you a prophetic instruction. How do you pray for this man? You say, Lord, we stand against the iniquity that wants to stop him. Let me tell you something. I can deliver you. I can pray for you to receive deliverance. But the demons of my people, you are the ones that can kick them. For me, they have become familiar with my prayer. My prayer will work for you in seconds. But for me to deal with this iniquity that follow my people, it's a job and a half. That's why you see Apostle Paul is saying to the saints, pray for us. Why is he so much soliciting prayers from the saints? A man who could raise the dead. A man who wrote three quarters of the New Testament. Because the demons that he was fighting, he, the anointing upon him is weaker in dealing with his own demons. But the saints, if they pray for him, it would make the job easy. Are you following? Amen. Are you following? Amen. We are celebrating birthday day. So I want you, I'm giving you instruction. When you think about apostle, you say, God, any iniquity that blocks his glory, we bind it. We want the glory of God to what? To manifest upon his life. Glory to God. Viewers, thank you for joining us. Uh, it's a combined celebration. The Passover and the birthday is looking so wonderful here. So God bless you. Uh, we know you are here and we are with you.
in spirit. God bless you. Hallelujah. So I want to thank you so much, uh, everybody that contributed, and uh, may the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. I am a prophet, so every time I get into a place, I look at things and I pick prophetic messages. So I came and I saw these seven candles that were lit here on the table. Seven what? Do you realize that this is prophetic? Seven candles. And the Lord says, these are the seven churches. <laughs> you realize that these are the seven churches. And the seven candlesticks. Right now, open open Revelation chapter uh, chapter 2. Is it chapter 2? Yes. Just read there. I'm not going to take time. I know you are, you, are, you are waiting for the big part. I'm not going to take time. Yes. So viewers, stay with us. We are, we are still going to pronounce some things on you. Just read chapter 2 of Revelation. I want to show you quickly something there. Mm. Revelation chapter 2 verse 1. Yeah. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus. Okay, so I think it's uh, chapter 1. The chapters, the last chapters. I saw the candles and all this stuff. Mm. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Mm, these people are drunk. Hallelujah. Did you see your pastor now? He's rising. He's mighty indeed in the way. Hallelujah. Continue to pray for him also. He's going far. He's going far. Did you find it? One verse one. One verse one. Can you read it? I'm not here to preach because preaching here is actually disturbing what has already been done. Mm. John. Mm -hmm. To the seven churches. To the what? Seven churches. So me, I look at this and say, ah, what God is communicating. Read. Wow. To the seven churches which mm. are in Asia. Yes. Grace be unto you, mm -hmm. and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, mm -hmm. and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. How many spirits? Seven. And this seven. Go ahead. Go ahead. Verse 5. Mm -hmm. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, mm -hmm. and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us mm -hmm. and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Okay. He hath made and hath made us kings and priests unto God his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Mm -hmm. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindred of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, say the Lord which is and which was and which is to come. The Almighty. I want to know you said I saw the seven. Verse 20. Verse 20. Yes. Just go there. Verse 20. Yes. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, mm -hmm. and the seven golden candles. The seven what? Golden, golden candles. Do you see them? Do you see them? Okay, go ahead. The seven stars mm. are the angels of the seven churches. The seven churches. And the seven candlesticks which thou sowest are the seven churches. Are the seven churches. And you know what seven means? Perfection. Mm. Perfection. Seven means what? Perfection. Perfection. So everything is prophetic. Amen. Nobody, I don't know who told you, but you, you are being driven by the Spirit to declare that it's perfection now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, God is going to bless all of you that have done this. Amen. I taught that to the seventh generation. And God says, multiply it. Wow. To Good. the seventh and seventh generation. Good. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. None of you that is here shall die prematurely. Amen. Are you hearing me? I said, none of you, even you viewers, none of you shall die prematurely. Amen. I have spoken. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. None of you shall die prematurely. Amen. Glory to God. Amen, amen. 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 I know even the, 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 okay, this is some things are not permitted to say, but I think I can tell you. Hallelujah. Amen. I know my sissy. I think I can use that word. If you are a man of God, you know your sissy. You know. I hear me? I know my sissy. 
What do you mean? I know how long I'm going to be here. Amen. I know. Yes. It has been revealed to me some things are too difficult to explain. Hallelujah. You, someone said, man, so you know the dead. No, I know the season. I know the signs that will tell me that the season is what? It's over. Start. I know. I know. I cannot say more than that. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. May you be blessed. May your children be blessed. Amen. And your children's children be blessed. Amen. And their children be blessed. Amen. To the seventh generation. Amen. Times seventh generation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May, may you be honored wherever you go. Amen. And your children shall be honored. Amen. Because of the honor that you have done. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May God bless you and increase you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall not lack bread. Amen. You shall not beg bread. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Your children shall not beg bread. Amen. You always have what you need in your house. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You always have what you need. Amen. Even your wants shall be given to you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let a new season be given to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let a new season be given to you. Amen. 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 Birthdays come with grace, as the pastor was saying. Birthdays come with what? Grace. With grace. Do you remember that when they celebrated Herod's birthday? Mm. It is the time that the daughter danced. Herodias danced in front of what? Of Herod. Herod. And do you know what happened on birthday? Mm. Ask for whatever you want. It shall be given even to half of my kingdom. Ask for whatever you want. It shall be given to you even to half of my what? Kingdom. It was, was it not because of Jezebel's spirit? This was a very divine thing. But the problem, Jezebel took advantage of the situation and they told the daughter to ask for the head of what? John. Of John the Baptist. Nevertheless, the head was still provided. Because this is a day of granting your request. Amen. It's a day where request are what? Amen. I want you to lift your hand. Ask for one thing, not two. Just ask for one thing. Ask one thing in your heart. Ask it. Just one thing. Ask it. Viewers, on birthday, requests are granted. Ask for what you want. Just one. Not two, one thing. Just ask God for one thing. Ask Him. This is the blessing I'm giving to you. You shall see that this is not an ordinary day, but it's a day that is recorded and that is known even in heaven. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, it is done. Write the day down. He said, The day that we celebrated the birthday of the prophet. Hallelujah. I received my marriage. I received my promotion. I received my wealth. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't think I have to prolong. It's, I saw even the containers in the, 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 the picture here. It's so nice. Amen. Prof, what do you say? <laughs> Sometimes you need professors to analyze it. And certify. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. It's also an honor to have a prof in the house. Amen. Amen. I told you, I'll keep doing it because it's nice. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. So don't throw away in that bottle. Some of you, it's a blessing. Don't throw it away. When the water is finished, put your water there. If you are sick, the sickness will go. Amen. If you are going for interview, just put your water drink there. Don't throw. Some of you will think it's an ordinary bottle. The moment it hears that, that it's not an ordinary bottle. So don't throw it away. Keep it. Fill it up. And whatever you drink from there is blessing. You you will see testimonies. Hallelujah. Do you hear what I'm saying? I said you come and tell me what? On the online church, did you realize that? Were you there, Pastor? When I prayed for the for the water. And the water became sweet. I told people, you experienced the miracle at Cana. I prayed for the water and the water became sweet. 
I prayed for the water. And it became what? Sweet. The online church can tell you. Some of you are doubting. You say, ah, I mean, oh God, can that happen? Some of them were saying the water is tasting like oil. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of them were, dis were testifying. The water changed the test. Amen. Amen. Leave that bottle. Let me pray. Some of you, you, you will never believe unless, unless you see sign. <laughs> Hallelujah. You will take your water. Take your water. Leave it in your hand. Father, I anoint this water. I stop it from be, being water now. Let it become your power. Cause this water to have a flavor of heaven. I pray in the name of Jesus. I remove the taste of water from it. Let it taste like honey. Let it taste like the divine heavenly flavor in the name of Jesus. I pray. How do you want it to taste? Hmm. You are going to taste that water. You see that the taste is not of water now. Viewers, we are with you. Take your water. Test it. You tell me. Hallelujah. Test it. You tell me. Hmm. Glory to God. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Hallelujah. Oh my Jesus, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not water now. It's the power of God. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. It's not water, it's the power of God. If there is any sickness, if there is any failure, if there is any uh, misfortune in you, it will go. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There are many testimonies that are coming. Amen, amen. amen. Glory to God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. How do you test it? It's sweet. <laughs> it's sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet even Look at it. There, it's not one person. Who's, who, who is feeling a different taste today? Who is feeling a different taste? You are feeling a different taste. What's happening? Uh, but I, I want to say something. Yes. So, by the time I came here, yes. I was not even feeling well. Okay. Before, by the time Mama was uh, mm. so I, I couldn't even stand. Mm. I was like. Uh, I want to vomit, so I just said, let me drink this whole okay. Yes. I just see like my oh, my eyes are like, I just woke up like. Uh, it's like you're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is testing a different test? Some of you here, you have to have faith, you understand? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. What's happening? It's sweet, but after, I don't know, the test I'm feeling, I want to go back like, but it's the child test. Other test I'm It's sweet. I hear it. It has changed. It has changed. Test. Hallelujah. Lift your water. Some of you are still doubting. Father, let the water taste different. I pray that it tastes sweet. Let it taste like honey. Viewers, we are with you. Take your water. Let it taste like honey. Father, we declare the miracle at Cana. In the mighty name of Jesus, signs and wonders are given, even to us in our days. Thank you for your glorification. That your name may be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Test it again. Test it again. Test it again. Test it again. Mm. Test it again. Mm. Test it again. Glory to God. Somebody who is getting a different test. Somebody who is getting a different test. Okay. It's getting a it's a it's a different test. Mm. It's testing diff different. How is it testing? <laughs> Praise God. After drinking it, yeah. like my mouth is dry inside. It's cleansing. It's cleansing you. Hallelujah. Well, how is it testing? I don't know how to explain. It's like I don't know how to explain. It's not water. I am telling you. Right now, oh my God, I wish we had time. I wish we had time. I wish we had time. I wanted to demonstrate, I wanted to find someone who is sick right now. If you could go and put that water on somebody who is sick, they will rise out of the bed. Right now. They will rise out of the bed. You see that, before I pray for the water, 
He came and just drank the water and then he like he's getting out of sleep. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that is the God we are serving. The apostolic is about signs and wonders. The pastor said, I am the children that the Lord has given me. We are for signs and what? Wonders. wonders. Hallelujah. Amen. Otherwise, I can speak and speak, but thank you. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. I have two birthdays. This is the the physical birthday and the spiritual birthday. This is the day that I also got baptized. I got baptized on the on my birthday. I don't know how God did it, but it was they just planned and it happened to be on my birthday. So we thank God. Amen. We thank God. Thank you so much. God bless you. You have many birthdays. Thank you, your satisfaction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will not die young. That's one thing that I want to tell you. You will not die young. Amen. Amen. You will not die young. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we have communion, then I'll leave the I'll leave it to you. I'll leave it to you. I don't know how you have arranged it, but uh, let, let us do communion so I know my job is done. Amen. I know my job is done. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, Pastor, you help me. You help me. I'll be speaking and you'll be doing the job. Amen. This is a resident pastor, so ideally he's the one who's going to be doing the job. I'll be speaking. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us read Matthew chapter 26. Sorry? Um, do we need it? They can remove it. Eh? It's fine. You can come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, goodness. Right. Matthew 26. Uh, you have your Bible with you. For me there, read for me. Read for me. Uh, Matthew 26 verse 27 verse. Matthew 26, 27. 26, yes, verse, uh, verse 27. Okay. Read, read for us there. Read for us. Yes. As they were eating. As they were eating. Jesus took bread. He took what? Bread. 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 You know what happened? And blessed it. He blessed the bread. Hallelujah. Amen. This is our bread. We are using Provita as our bread. So anything can can represent bread. Amen. You can use the real bread if you want. You can use anything that represents bread. Communion is not necessarily limited to the shoe bread. But anything that can be bread. Amen. Amen. If you don't have bread, you can even eat. You can use the whatever solid food. Bread is simply talking of what? Of food. All right. So, but we have provision. Come here, uh, first. Hold the, the bread up. Hold the bread up. So he took bread and what? He blessed it. Amen, amen. amen. Let's bless the bread. If he was, you can take whatever. If you don't have provision, take bread. If you don't have bread, take even rice, whatever you have. Amen. Take it. You just need a solid thing and, and drink. Lift it up. Let's, let's lift our hands. Let's lift our hands. Father, thank you for the bread, which is your body given to us. We receive your body that was broken for us. Thank you. Lord, as we lift this bread, we thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your blessing upon this bread, representing your body. In Jesus' name, amen. Continue. And break it. He broke the bread. He took the bread and he what? Broke it. Open, open there. Uh, 
So don't worry, you wash these hands here. Put your phone down. All right, you wash these, these hands. So we are going to break the what? The bread. Remember, this is the body that was broken for us. For us. That is the, the meaning of the... Why is he breaking it? Because it's a sign that his body was, was, was broken for us. Hallelujah. So, mm, thank you. Check the plate, okay. So break the bread. Mm, hallelujah. So he broke the what? The bread. Yes, break it. Hallelujah. I want you to think about it. As the bread is being broken, say, Father, as your body has been broken for me, every sickness is broken. Every leg is broken. As the, as the bread is still broken, let every difficult situation be broken. Every limitation be broken. Hallelujah. As the bread is being broken, let every curse in your life be broken. Viewers, as we are breaking the bread, every problem, every challenge, every curse, every altar, every evil thing in your life is being broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. As the bread is being broken, let difficult situations be broken. Amen. Hallelujah. So the bread was broken. What did it, what does it say? Let me let me okay. 26 it says what here? And they were okay. 20 20 Take this. Take it. This is my what? My body. Hallelujah. I want you to come now. Come. You are ready, isn't it? Come. Come. You was take a breath. Come. He said, take. Come and take. Take. Hallelujah. Mm, take. Uh, because of the setup, maybe just wait where you are. Yes, wait where you are. The blade will come. Take. Hallelujah. Take the bread. Just take the bread. Just take the bread. Take the bread. Mm. You must take your bread. If you don't have provita, you can use bread. You can use anything. Even ordinary biscuits can do. You can use them. Yes. You can use them. You can use them. So, take the bread. Glory to God. Glory to God. Just take your bread and hold it in your in your in your hand hold it in your hand in your heart i want you to be appreciating the finished works of calvary appreciating the work of calvary what he has done for us on the cross hallelujah he enjoyed the pain of the cross he was brutally made that hallelujah hallelujah he went through the pain that cannot be explained. Hallelujah. You can never find such pain in all humanity. You can't find such pain. Jesus went through such pain. Hallelujah. Amen. Where he was put to shame. Hallelujah. He was dishonored so that you and me can be honored. Hallelujah. Amen. He was put to shame so that you and me can be honored. Amen. Glory to God. Take the bread that is broken. I want you to say, Lord, your body was broken for me. Say thank you for your body that was broken for me. Say I'm here because your body was broken for me. Say thank you that you have enjoyed the pain that has never been seen. That can never be seen in all humanity for me. You did this for me. As I celebrate, I also want to appreciate the finished works of Calvary. Today, my spirit, my soul, my body honors you. My whole being honors you. Everything within me blesses your name. As I eat this, your body, I declare with my heart that Jesus is Lord and that God raised him from the dead. I'm confessing with my mouth 
to salvation. And I'm believing in my heart unto righteousness. Thank you for removing every agon of sin. Thank you for removing every guilty in my life. In Jesus' name. Take the bread. This is the bread given and eat. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Give thanks. Give thanks because of the body. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to continue again. Viewers, just follow us wherever you are. 29 says, it's 27. And he took the cup and he gave thanks. Take the, the cup. The cup here is the grape juice. I believe this is what they were using in those days. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what we have. What, what did he do when he took the cup? He gave what? He gave thanks. So we want you to lift the cup. Uh, Pastor, let's all lift our hands and say, Father, thank you for the cup. Thank you for your cup that you have given us. Your blood that has given us life. There is life in your blood, the life of God. And we have received this life. Thank you for your cup. Your cup is drink indeed. And as we drink this cup, we're drinking the life of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. And then he gave to them, saying, Drink you all of it. Hallelujah. Drink you all of it. So you are going to drink the cup. Amen. Hallelujah. For this is my body. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of what? Sins. So I said, this is my what? My blood. I don't know the theories that people are coming up with to say communion is no good. I don't know this generation wants to complicate their life. Communion is no good. Baptism is no good. I don't know. For me, I choose to remain in the old line. This, this generation that like to be philosophical in everything. Now they say, ah, baptism is no good. Ah, communion is no good. I don't know. <laughs> Hallelujah. The way I understand it, baptism is, is a good thing. How many of you are, are not baptized? Let's see those that are not baptized in water. Are all of you baptized in water? I mean proper baptism where you are dipped in water, not the sprinkling. Sprinkling is not baptism. So if they sprinkle water on you, that's not baptism. How many of you are not baptized to be dipped in water? Can I see those that are not baptized? Lift your hands. How were you baptized? Those who, oh, you were baptized? They dipped you in water. Okay. Once or twice. I mean, if you are baptized at Sunday school, you need to be baptized because now it's, it happens with decision after you are born again. Uh -huh. Yes, you have baptism comes after you receive Jesus with your understanding. Uh -huh. I'm not talking of Sunday school. Uh -uh. So let me see those that are, that are not baptized. Right. Leaders. Leaders, I want, us to, I want you to organize a place where we can go and baptize people. Leaders, please organize. You do that for me, leaders. Uh, you do that for me. Organize so that we baptize people very soon before it's deep winter. Let's have people baptized. You will see it's very important. Are you hearing me? It's very important. Viewers, we encourage you to be, to be baptized. To be baptized. It's important. Amen. Amen. All right. So you are going to receive the cup. Once you receive the cup, hold it in your hands and wait for the next instruction. So this is ordinary juice. Um... Some people can use um, altar wine. Altar wine, I think it's alcohol free. Yes, but we are using grape juice here. Mm. 
by using grape juice. So the cup is coming to you. So those of you who want to baptize, to be baptized, register. Register your names. Who would you register with so that um would, yeah right elder elder Marquesa, yeah, you are going to register your names with him those who want to be baptized let's see how many you are then you are going to arrange for baptism some of you are not sure of your baptism you can also register amen, amen. if you are not sure of your baptism register because that one is going to be something else you will see what god will do amen. even there amen. amen so we are going to work on getting people baptized uh we'll work and see where we can get maybe we'll get the, that big jacuzzi thing if we don't have our own pool and then we are going to baptize for day amen i think we can get that amen amen and fill it up and then we we'll baptize people there what is needed is just the water for one to be immersed in yes. water if they sprinkle water on you, that's not baptism. Baptism is to immerse, yes. to completely dip. So if they come and sprinkle water on you, that's not baptism. It's sprinkling. Are you hearing me? Amen. Baptism is to immerse. The word baptize is an English word that means to completely immerse, completely dip something. Are you getting it? That's, that is the meaning of what? For baptism. Yeah, so. Get your cup, get your cup, get your cup. Um, once you have your cup, uh, we, we move to the next instruction. Uh, our cups enough? Yeah. Okay. All right. If uh, they are not, they are enough. Okay. Glory to God. Pray in your heart as you are taking this communion. May you be revived in your love for God. May you be revived in your spirit. If you are entangled or if there is any sin holding your life, confess to God and ask God to forgive you. And ask God to give you the strength to come out of any sin. Hallelujah. God does not condemn us, but God speaks to us to come out of sin. Amen. Hallelujah. So, as we partake in this the Lord's table. Allow the Holy Spirit to take you out of your weakness, to give you strength to overcome your weakness. Amen. Glory to God. So lift up your cup. Do we all have? Hmm, do we all have? Okay. Lift up your cup there. Say, Father, thank you. Father, thank you. For, for the cup. For the cup. Say, thank you for your cup. Thank you for your cup that you have given to me. That you have given to your me. cup, your cup is drink indeed, and your cup, and your cup is, life to me. is life to me. As I drink, As I, drink I thank you. I thank you for bringing life to me, for, life for reviving me, for, for restoring my life. Restoring my In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Drink the cup, drink the cup. Glory to God. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Can we celebrate now? Let me hear ululation. Let me hear celebration. Be what? Celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Celebration because of what he has done. Hallelujah. Do you have an idea of what he has done in the cross? Hallelujah. Can we celebrate one more time? Can we celebrate one more time? Hallelujah. Can we celebrate one more time? Can we celebrate one more time? Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Say to your neighbor, congratulations. Oh my Jesus. Hallelujah. So we thank God you are renewed in your strength. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a permanent declaration that you are you belong to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That the blood of Jesus is the only blood that will speak in your life. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to thank you again for, for this day. Amen. Amen. But uh
today is it's, it's me being spoiled so let me sit down okay let me sit down you have already been blessed and uh, i think we are going to give those one give you can i think you can do that uh, uh pastor you can do that thank you very much thank you very much Hallelujah. Amen. I will pray for the viewers if you are about to even to close. Hallelujah. Let's pray for our viewers. Hallelujah. For them to be strength, to be strengthened. Father, we pray for our viewers. In the mighty name of Jesus, wherever you are, be touched with the power of the Holy Ghost. Be touched with the power of Jesus. And we say, as he has risen today, everything that belongs to you is risen. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much, viewers. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Now it's time for offerings. Hallelujah. Amen. We just give unto the Lord and even for 